A powerful opaline steals the cutie marks from dozens of ponies. The town's ponies run away in shock. Spike, the dragons and the ponies arrive in town and see the chaos. Rocky and Jazz show Sunny and the others what happened and take them to the tree that Opaline used as a portal. Pip and Co. need to figure out how Opaline is stealing the cutie marks. Just then, Spike collapses. The dragons don't feel well. Misty surmises that Opaline is using the dragon stone to control the dragons. If she uses up all of the stone's magic, that could put dragons back to sleep for another thousand moons. Spike decides to take back the stone from Opaline. He also wants to use Sparky. Hitch gets defensive as Sparky is just a baby. Misty reminds Hitch that Sparky is strong as he's the one who filled up the dragon stone. So maybe Sparky is the one who can take the magic back. Spike and the dragons fly away to confront Opaline. Meanwhile, Hitch gathers every pony by the tree. Sunny and co. check on the crystals. Zip shows her friends a picture she got from the library in Zephyr Heights. She explains that there are three trees. The Maritime Bay Together Tree, Misty's Together Tree, and the Wishing Tree in Bridalwood. Opaline managed to tap into the connection between the three. Misty then reveals that Opaline has her own magic tree in her throne room, and the tree is supposed to feed on unity magic, but Opaline couldn't make it work. Zip realizes that Opaline can travel through the trees and is using them to steal the cutie marks. Pip and Co. then remember that Hitch is gathering all the ponies by the tree. They rush to warn him, but they're too late, as Opaline ambushes Hitch and Co. and steals their cutie marks. Zip wonders if the Together Tree in Zephyr Heights is also stealing the cutie marks. Pip tries to call Queen Haven, but to no avail. Zip and Pip decide to warn Zephyr Heights. Sunny and Misty are at the Bright House on the lookout, but then the crystals start glitching. Sunny believes that Opaline's figured out a way inside. Misty explains that if Opaline gets enough cutie mark magic, she'll have enough power to break any spell. Spike and the dragons go to the dungeons to retrieve the stone. They spot the charged stone, which is shielded with magic. Opaline shows up with Lava and Jade, who are fully under her control. She cackles and casts a spell around Spike and the dragons. Opaline vows to have power and all of it. She plans to have Prisbeam and the Together Trees. She reveals that she tried to make her tree upstairs grow, but it would just wither and die, because Unity feeds it. But thanks to Misty, who inadvertently brought real Unity magic back to her in the form of Sparky, who helped activate her tree. Meanwhile, Misty feels remorseful and blames herself for helping Opaline. Sunny reassures her, saying that it wasn't her fault. Opaline and the controlled dragons come through the portal to steal the remaining cutie marks. Hitch tries to stop her, but she's too powerful. Misty and Sunny see as Opaline steals Hitch's cutie mark. Opaline plans to steal Hitch's friend's cutie marks and complete her necklace in order to become unstoppable.